I once heard the story of Vincent Van Gogh eating yellow paint in an attempt to bring the happiness back inside of him. The first time I heard this story, I was too untouched to understand how someone could be mad enough to go to those lengths to win back their own happiness. How someone could be so colorful, yet so messy. But then I lived some more, and the things that I thought I knew began to change shape. And the world I once saw as a solid gradient sunset was now a pixelated kaleidoscope version of dusk. Still bright with the same hues, but different in the brain. I got older, felt shivering blizzards of reality, and I got my heart shattered so many times, it began to resemble shards of dazzling crystals on the ground. But I kept going because he always kept going, and I met people along the way who taught me there was a beautiful endurance in my desire to keep trying. But that didn't make it stop hurting some days to the point of choking expensive sadness, and on some days I felt like the one-eared man who ate the yellow paint. Trapped in the brushstrokes of the nighttime sky, and I could no longer keep any of the promises that I once could. I know that happiness can come in the form of a choice, but that isn't always enough to stop the rattling of loose shrapnel in my brain. And I stare at that painting of a vase of sunflowers more times a day than I'd like to admit, and on some days it is just so bad. But I'm curious to know what it'd be like to taste the toxicity of the lead going down my throat. Maybe trying to take care of everybody all at once is my yellow paint. They used to say that Vincent would sometimes drop to his knees and stare for hours into the heart of a wildflower. And the locals would laugh at him, go up to the man who smelled of turpentine and loneliness, and throw the heaviest objects that they could find at him. But he was so often lost in awe that he rarely ever paid them any attention. And occasionally, I can still find that same wonder in my eyes, but only if you catch me on the right day, and only if you can see more than just static every time that you look at me. Nevertheless, I still bring my brush to the canvas and start over again, because if anything, I've learned that tenderness is hard and misunderstood, and it's a rough road to understanding. I've learned that caring isn't synonymous with crazy, and soft isn't synonymous with weak, and even through it all, they still might not understand. And they won't even understand what it is that they don't understand. But I won't care because I've been told that perhaps they never will. Perhaps they're not supposed to. So I'll let that truth fall upon me like a tidal wave. I'll prepare my palette, lift my brush to the canvas, and still choose to start over again and again and again. Because I can see myself in the people that I love. I can find myself in the freckles on your skin. And it's in those moments that I know I no longer have use for my yellow paint anymore.